Hello everyone, this is Prasad Banerjee from Digit.in. So we have with us today the Xiaomi Mi 3. It was recently launched in India. You definitely have heard about it. It's a budget priced phone with a specs of the flagship smartphones from the last generation. Mind you, not this generation, the last generation. In fact, the Xiaomi Mi 3 has, a, has the specs similar or rather the same as the Nexus 5. Except that it has a bigger camera than the Nexus 5, it's got a 13 megapixel camera than the 8 megapixel camera in Nexus 5. It runs on the Snapdragon 800 2.3 GHz quad core processor. It has a 5 inch screen and it's a full HD screen with 1920 uh, into 1080p resolution. And it's got a metallic finish to its body, a kind of matte -ish finish, but it's pretty much plastic. It's got a magnesium alloy chassis inside, which is pretty good. And uh, apart from that, you can see there's a 30 megapixel camera on the back with the dual LED flash next to it. This is for the noise cancellation. And on the right side of the phone, you have the unlock power on, power off button and the volume rocker. On the top of the phone, you have the 3.5 mm jack. Along with that, the SIM slot, it takes the full uh, SIM card, not a micro SIM or a nano SIM. Next to the SIM card, you can see these four laser, laser etched holes. These are also for noise cancellation purposes. And build wise, on the bottom also you have a, uh, the stereo, laser edge stereo grill and the USB charging slot. So build wise, the Mi 3 is actually pretty good, you know, for a phone that costs only 13,000 or rather 14,000, 13,999 is the price. It's got a very good build, it's sleek, it's uh, rectangular edges and rounded on the sides, very sleek, looks like a premium phone and you know, you shouldn't have problems with how it looks. The one problem we did have with the phone though, was that it's slippery, it's very slippery in the hand. This finish, the metallic finish at the back makes it very slippery. In fact, when I was using it, uh, it did slip out of my hand a few times. So thankfully I didn't drop it, but it did slip out a few times. So on the front, you have the two megapixel camera at the top. This is the camera here. And at the bottom, you have these cap capacitive buttons, the settings button, the home button and the back button. The normal the home button long pressing the home button will give you the google now uh, screen and so that is basically about uh, all we can tell you about the build it's a well built phone it looks like a premium phone xiaomi has paid a lot of attention to detail but it does tend to slip out of your hand 